if you file your petition and you make a mistake that would not be an error as far as causing your judgment to be rejected, then you don't have to amend your petition. So let me give you an example. Let's say you file your petition and when you file, you 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 put on spouse support that you want uh, spouse support. But then when you guys go to finalize your agreement, you guys decide you don't want spouse support. In that case, you would not have to amend your petition and put no spouse support because the judgment or the settlement agreement will supersede the, the petition. It's not a mistake to ask for it and then later change your mind. Same thing for any of your other requests. If you say, I want uh, full legal and physical custody on the petition, but then you guys talk and you decide that you want to have joint legal and physical custody, then your settlement agreement would just be drafted to say joint legal and physical custody, and the, the court's not going to refer to the petition. Of course, we're talking about in cases where there is an, it's amicable, it's default with agreement, and or an uncontested case where a response was filed, but you guys are now in agreement.